Have you ever gone to one of the best cocktail bars in your hometown? and you've ordered one of the cocktails off the list and you watch the bartender make it and they clearly know what they're doing. They've gone through all the process, they put the drink up, the drink looks amazing, there's this beautiful layer of white foam and maybe like the drink is pink and it, the contrast makes it look awesome and it comes over to your table and you're really excited about it and you start drinking it and maybe the third sip in, you realize like, it smells like egg. I hate it when that happens. Oh, yeah. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dean Count Show. Today we're going to be talking about egg white and more importantly how to store it and use it in drinks. I don't claim to be any kind of expert on egg white uh, but I've been using it in drinks for a long time and this is what I do. Uh, if you have any suggestions let me know because I would always be keen on improving. Uh, when I prep egg whites I get a couple of tins, obviously I'm doing this in cocktail bars most of the time. Uh, I get my eggs. I'm gonna check them first to make sure that they're not all cracked. And then I might start with say six to begin with. I just crack the egg on the side of one of the tins, splitting it in half and allowing the yolk to fall in to the side that I'm most comfortable with the yolk falling into. I then just tip the yolk, trying not to get any of the white into the other shell rolling it around and I do that maybe one more time so that I can get the yolk isolated by itself and the egg white isolated by itself. I then sit that in there. If I'm not using the yolks, I'm not going to put them in salt and sugar or use them in any other drink, then I might throw them out. Uh, in this case, I'm going to save them because I am going to use them for something else later on. We'll put that one aside. Now, a couple of tips with this. First of all, you may go to cocktail bars or you may work in a cocktail bar. Uh, you may prefer to do egg whites one at a time if you're working at home. For me personally, uh, I was to told a long time ago that if you pre-prep your egg white and you keep it in the fridge, it, the smell of egg goes away after a period of time. Like after half an hour or so, the smell of egg where it goes away. I like to chop it up a little bit as well so it's not all one kind of solid piece. Um, if you are prepping and you're putting it into a bowl, you're putting it into here and you end up getting a piece of shell, another little tip, if you've got a piece of shell, don't try to use your fingers to pull the piece of shell out, it's not gonna work. Don't try to get a knife or anything like that. One thing is the shell will actually cut through the white so you can use the shell as a scoop to get any other pieces of shell out. Works really well, nice little tip. Um, for me, when I'm working in a cocktail bar, because obviously I'm gonna be doing a lot of different drinks, I like to prep my egg white into one of these. Um, I can see it, I'll put a marker on it to let me know exactly how old it is. I usually throw everything out at the end of the day anyway. So for me, I'll put my egg white straight into this little guy Put this on top of it. I'll usually prep enough to fill that whole thing. And then as the night goes on, I can measure accurately exactly the same amount of egg white into every cocktail. If I am randomly asked to make a drink with egg white, I hadn't prepped, but I have eggs at the ready. What I will do is I'll get my half shaker, break this guy open. Separate them. Now, give it a smell. You can see how eggy it smells. You can make sure it's fresh. And when I go to make my cocktail, it's gonna be really hard to take this amount of egg white and split it into a smaller amount of egg white. The kind of amount, 10, 15 mil, or a half an ounce, of, a quarter of an ounce, uh, that I'm gonna need for this cocktail. So, what I do, is I sit my knife against the top, making sure that the egg white can't fall out. I bring the egg white up, I guess this might be a better way to do it. Egg white up against it, and it slows the flow of the egg white. When I feel I've got enough, I can just bring the blade down against the egg white and chop it off, which means that I can measure it out across multiple different cocktails, or I can pour it into this one and get just a small amount of egg white that I need. 
Cool. Um, there's a few top tips on egg white. Again, I'm no expert on egg white. If you have any tips, if I've missed anything, please let me know in the comments. I'll try to add it into any future video I do, updating it and adding aquafaba and a few other different things that we can use rather than eggs. This has been Dean for the Dean Callan Show. Sorry that the video took so long. I'm like genuinely sorry. Try to keep it to 30 seconds. It just doesn't work out sometimes. Sometimes we're doing this mostly in one take. Sometimes one take takes more than 30 seconds. There could have been a mistake in this take. Just, I don't know right now. <laughs> we'll find out later. Uh,